The woman I knew who took her own life because she couldn't find a husband. So this is a true story. This really happened about two years ago or so. I really didn't want to make a video on the subject right away, but I felt like I needed to educate and warn people about the unrealistic expectations women have these days. So I knew her about 10 years or so. She was a family friend. She knew certain members of my family pretty well. I actually didn't know her all that well. We might have had a few brief conversations, but my sisters and my cousins knew her a lot more than I did. She was about 40 years old, kinda cute. In fact, yes, I would say she was absolutely cute. She was maybe a little on the chunkier side. Just a little though, maybe like barely 15 or 20 pounds overweight. She had an excellent career, and she had a great caring and bubbly personality. And she came from a great church-going family. But behind all the smiles, behind her Christian values, and behind her bubbly personality, she was secretly suffering inside. There was something eating away at her. She couldn't find herself a husband. That's right. She couldn't find herself her one and only. She always thought as a kid and in her early 20s that she'd be happily married with multiple children by age 35. But as she got into her mid-30s and approached 40, she was realizing her family goals in life were not going to come true. She spent her 30s on dating apps, getting nowhere. No quality men wanted to take her hand in marriage. It was just a long 10-year carousel of dating men being used and then tossed away. It was a very stressful situation for her. All of her friends were getting married, finding their husbands and having children. All of her personal friends from back in school and all of her online Instagram friends and they were posting their wedding days to social media, and she had to see all of it. And these were women her age, and women even younger than her. And women who would be seen as not as good as it catches her. All getting married before her. And this put intense pressure on her. This put big time pressure on her to find her a husband and to marry. So what she did was she put a deadline onto herself. And that deadline was age 40. It was either find a husband by age 40 and get married or bust. So yes, that's right. What she did was she said to herself at age 30 something, she said, if you're not married by age 40, you're worthless and you take your own life at that point. If you're not married by age 40, that's the deadline. Her expectations were too high and she had a false sense about how men were on dating apps. Even the paid Christian dating apps, all men were pretty much the same story. And she absolutely refused to lower her standards. And she slowly found out that not every single man was rich, tall, fit, and a soap opera looking star with sideburns. The men she actually did date didn't want to marry, and her standards never went down. And at the age of 40, she got real drunk and depressed one night, crying that she could never find her one and only. And at the age of 40 years, 5 months and 2 days, she committed show aside. That's right. You know the code word I'm trying to say here. Shoeicide. She committed it. And she took her own valuable life. This was just a very sad story about the unreal expectations women have. And how the dating market really is nowadays. It's a very sad and unfortunate situation. And I hope it serves as a warning to women out there. So please, please women, take your unrealistic high standards and just... I, I don't know, just... Drop them down a notch or two because it's a very mean and unforgiving dating world out there. And, you know, having such high and unrealistic standards in a man could be very unsafe and be very life-threatening, you know? And I just want this to serve as a warning, so I hope I reached out to somebody out there. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.